Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today so that way I can open up the floor to share some intimate things about me and also some more wisdom in case it might help you or maybe even someone you know. Uh, I want to touch on depression and your inner peace and happiness and like I said, just kind of share some intimate stuff so you can get to know me better if you want. Um, I've been YouTubing for quite a few years, ever since I was in high school. And if you look back even eight months ago in my videos, I look really, really sad, like on the brink of tears on some of them. So I, if you hadn't noticed, have struggled with depression for a long time. Um, oh, sorry. Anyways. Um, and I have learned a lot through my experiences. I'm 20 years old right now. Um, and one of the main things that has helped me learn to accept myself was this book, Siddhartha, by Herman Hess. If you read it and if you get the chance, it's obviously pretty short. So I recommend it to all of you guys. It helped me kind of take a look at myself and realize that I should just love myself. It's okay to be kind of broken because I've... I've felt like that for so long and it's okay if you're like that happiness is just a feeling you don't have it all the time so you shouldn't expect it all the time which was a really hard thing for me to realize and I'm <laughs> it kind of feel silly now that I think about it but um, when you get depressed you kind of get in this really vicious cycle that just kind of turns everything over in your head and I'm someone that overanalyzes stuff a lot which I'm trying not to do um, but it's really hard <laughs> because I've been, I've just kind of like a hopeless romantic where my whole life I've felt incomplete, like someone else out there is just waiting for me and I'll be okay once I find them. But that is something that is not okay. You can't let other people hold your happiness. It's something that you have in your hands that only you can control. Um, so realizing that too and kind of taking on that responsibility instead of just blaming other people or other events. It's really, really important to do that. Um, hmm, what else did I want to explain? Oh yeah, depression. So, um, through my journeys of relocating, ending a bad relationship, and ending bad friendships, I have learned a lot about myself. So if you guys get the opportunity to take a day a week for yourself or even like an hour just to hang out with yourself, that will be really beneficial for you. If you can't have fun on your own, you're probably not going to do too well trying to have fun with other people or making someone else happy. Another thing you need to understand too is if you're in a place like me where you struggle to be happy and you struggle to get in a good place, you probably shouldn't be in a relationship. Um, I don't know your situations, of course. I mean, maybe it's working out for you. But for me, I had just ended up settling and trying to ignore my unhappiness in a relationship, and it's not okay. I couldn't put on weight. Um, I was just falling and falling deeper into a chasm of depression. Um, so, yeah, being able to recognize if you're in a spot where you're unhealthy, that's good. Step one, you're unhealthy. Okay, step two, what can we do to make that better? You need to love yourself. If you notice things about yourself that you don't enjoy, write them down. Figure out, okay, um, how can I accept this or how can I change it into something more positive and healthy so that way I will accept that part about myself. Um, I've been able to put on 15 pounds in that month and a half I've been gone. Um, you can't really see me very well here. I've always been thin, but this weight is amazing. Um, I feel a lot better about myself. I'm comfortable. I'm not insecure about my thinness because yes, world, thin girls are not always happy with their bodies. <laughs> Surprise! Um, sorry, I just wanted to share that because I've been in this situation where growing up I kind of got made fun of and stuff because of how thin I was. Um, another reason why I hated school, um, but going through high school and, you know, like I said, there's videos I posted where I looked really, really sad, and that's because high school was effing just, oh, I hated it so much, and it's kind of funny, if you were to talk to my friends or people I grew up with, I don't think they had any idea that I was drowning every single day around them, um, I had gotten into a really bad part of my life where I was harming myself, 
um, and just getting into bad cycles of self-hate and self-loathing, which is another thing that if you can stop, that helps a lot. <laughs> um, you need to find creative ways to stop those feelings when they start. Because uh, even today, I, I struggle being in this world. Uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning, <laughs> I'm just kind of like rolling over, ugh. I'm still alive. I still have these stones in my chest that I can't dispel. And that's okay to feel that way. Um, after leaving a long relationship, coping with loneliness and trying to be okay with being on your own has been really hard for me, but it's getting easier every day. Um, and another thing too, I was talking about, you know, that those urges to harm yourself, because if you're depressed, you understand that you don't really want to be here. You feel like, what's the point? I mean, I'm going to die anyway, right? So I keep suffering. Um, the things that have kept me around so long is my family, first off, and music. So much music. <laughs> That's helped a lot. And literature, too, because um, I love poetry and stuff. But when you get those feelings, you need to find something you can do to turn it around. Um, I've been doing something because, you know, like I said, hopeless romantic, I just want someone else to make me better. Um, I don't know if this kind of supports what I'm trying to suppress, but I've been writing these letters to my future love or my future, um, the one. And I usually say, dear lover, or hey, whatever, and I just write everything out to them. Um, it helps me so much, especially with the loneliness. And also someday I'll have a whole bunch of letters to give to my future husband, so that's cool, right? Um, and actually, it helped me just the other night. I was feeling really hopeless, and I really wanted to just, you know, get out that blade again and go to town. But instead, I got out my word on my computer, and I just started writing to my future lover, whoever he may be, and just getting out all my feelings and explaining what I did in my day, just having someone to talk to, even if they're not technically there yet. Yet. <laughs> um, that helps. So if you've got a friend you can write to, or if you want to start pick up what I've been doing, great. I would love that. Um, I would be interested in hearing how you guys kind of combat those feelings, if there's anything especially good that works for you. I'm always up for new ideas. I want to help you guys and hear your stories too, because I understand it's hard. And YouTube is somewhere I used to go, it has been an outlet for me for so many years, and I think nowadays it's kind of just about the money, and I, I don't want to keep going in that cycle. So feel free to do a video response, leave me some comments if you have anything else you want to talk about or if you want to get into a more intimate subject. I would love to give you guys advice or help in any way that I can. Because um, I know on, on my journey learning to love myself, it's it's been a rough one. But I haven't been this happy ever. I don't, I don't think I've been able to remember a time. And like I said, I still have bad days or weeks. There's those ruts. But overall, I feel okay. I feel okay. <laughs> so I want to reach out to you guys and say hi. Hope you're doing well. Um, all those other pleasantries. And I look forward to hearing a little bit more about you. <laughs> Bye.